Who else is a basic beep like me <laughs> with my Stanley Cup? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be showing you all the little goodies that I got from my favorite place in the whole wide world. I have one of the items inside this box. I'm going to show you guys, but I am returning this, FYI, just so you guys know. But let's get all the other things out. Why have I got... Oh, it's gone. Oh, but this was a really good smelling perfume. I loved it. I want to get it when I finish my perfume up there because I have too much perfume. Okay, and the receipt. So let's put that there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure you don't leave without hitting that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday and we focus on luxury and fashion. Without further ado, let's um, now open the boxes. First one is... I'm in a bit of a rush. What's the time? It's half past three. I need to leave in about... 10 minutes to go and pick up the kids so that's why I'm like ah let's get down to it okay so fine jewelry guys this is fine jewelry from Hermes and I don't know what's been going on with me very recently but I've just been on a jewelry hype and I saw these earrings and I was like I have to get them I just have to <laughs> they were these gorgeous little things now the reason why I'm actually returning them is because I originally first of all wanted the small ones in gold which are like obviously impossible to get these I found just by chance on the website twice the first time I didn't buy them quick enough the second time well I was like yee quick 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 I didn't waste any time <laughs> but now that I've got them I don't know I'm just not too like mm, mm. I'm underwhelmed just a little bit maybe because they're in silver and I'm more of a golden girl I do like gold as opposed to silver which is crazy because I've always been silver you know look at all my bags they're all in silver because I literally stipulated when I started out collecting my my Birkins and Kelly's I was like I only do silver no gold and now I've completely reversed and changed and all I ever want is gold so yeah I thought I would like them more when they arrived but I yeah I just I'm not a huge fan of them. I mean, I like the actual design of the earring. Oops. I like the actual design of the earring. I think they are stunning. They're really, really pretty. They're very unique. And if I'm completely honest with you guys, I'm not a fan of hoop earrings in general because I used to wear them when I was younger. I feel like it kind of brings down my look whenever I do wear hoop earrings. So when I did see these, I thought this little bar going across was absolutely gorgeous but I am returning them so I wish I could get them in gold I'd be really really happy if I did one thing that I will say about these earrings is the butterfly is so hard to get on and off not even a little bit I don't know if it's because I've got nails no it's not because I've got nails it's just it's really 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 hard it's not your normal butterfly that you just kind of put on and then that's that you have to squeeze these two bits together but it's not like a little squeeze it's like a really hard squeeze in order to get the butterfly off which I guess once it's on it's great but these aren't exactly earrings that you're gonna be leaving on are you you know you're gonna wear them for the day and take them off at the end of the day and um, it's a little bit annoying I'm not gonna lie I don't like the butterflies at all okay so I don't know which one's which in this now I have two boxes which one left or right I'm gonna pick left for you and inside this box is the Actually, let me get the names of these things because I'm unboxing here and I'm not telling you any of the names and I should really do that. So unprofessional of me, sorry. The hoop earrings, what are the hoops? I think they're just called the Hermes hoops. Let's see, they should be on the receipt, shouldn't they? I like the way I'm looking through the paper to see if I can see what it says on the paper. Okay, so that's not it. Huh. Oh, they're called the loop earrings and they are in the medium size so they're the medium model and the price of these loop earrings they are in silver was 490 pounds which for silver is quite a bit but when it comes to fine jewelry of any sort from any brand you are paying for the brand name you're not actually paying for the jewelry because realistically we can get any of the fine jewelry anywhere else for much cheaper of the price but because it's got the brand name behind it it's obviously gonna cost a lot more okay now in this box huh <laughs> jib jabbering we have my chain de encore in chain earring and it's this little cutie right over here now you guys would have seen in my wish list originally i wanted this ring in gold for this finger right over here but they did not have my size 
at all at all at all at all in rose gold not in gold gold because everything on the website over here is in rose gold guys there's like one or two pieces i had a few people say but there is yellow gold on the website and i'm like no there isn't there is no yellow gold here in the uk anyways when i did go and try on the rose gold version which was on display originally my hermes fairy said she preferred this one as opposed to the rose gold one but i was adamant that i really wanted the gold one i was like no let's not let's not let's not let's not anyways a few days went by and i fell in love with a completely different item to that particular ring that I was looking at the the gold version of this and when I tried to get this one it was sold out it wasn't available in store anymore so I was like oh great stuff anyways they replenish stock on the website every single day right so I kept my eyes out it popped up in a size 53 which is what this is in right I needed a 54 I ordered it anyway it was the only size it was this or an even smaller size so I just ordered the 53 and I was like okay we'll just try our luck because sometimes the design of the ring might enable it to fit on my finger it arrived and guys 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 <laughs> it fitted perfectly look at that I'm so happy. I love it so, so much with my engagement ring and my wedding band. So, so pretty, guys. I love it. Ah! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm putting it on. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, yeah, that is my first item that is actually staying and I'm so happy that I managed to score and I'm so glad that I ordered it in the 53 because really you know when you're like oh I can't believe I'm missing out on this I really really wanted it and da, 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 and you kind of just and then by chance it came up so it really was meant to be oh look at this oh. hi guys hi <laughs> the next item we have in here Okay, we have, wait, 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 let me get the receipt for this one, so I know all the names, because, gosh, right, here I have the Collier de Chêne. Look at that. <laughs> so this is what I changed my mind for in the end. Instead of getting the gold of this, I thought, oh, I love this, like, really love this, and I like this, and this one I actually got in store, so... <laughs> I didn't have to order online or wait for anything. It was there and available. This one is in rose gold, unfortunately. But Hermes's rose gold isn't so pink. And it actually doesn't look too bad with the two combined. But I thought, anyways, I'm going to get it. This feels a bit big, if I'm honest. Oh, no. What size is this? It's a 52. It feels quite big. Mm, I think because it's gone colder again. But anyways, the Hermes gold, like, I don't know what it's coming like on camera. I'm trying to see here, but it's not really, really pink. So when I'm wearing, like, even just now, actually, like this, you can kind of see it. Okay, basically, I'm going to get another <laughs> just to include in rose gold, I think. But then the problem is with the Cartier rose gold, I've heard that it it fades and it goes into like a yellow so it's like okay well what's the point i might as well just keep it like this and hopefully this fades into a yellow gold but um yeah this is what it looks like or i could do like maybe a mix and match of rose gold and gold i don't know but so far this is all i've come up with i really 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 liked this one a lot i think it's so 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 pretty and so unique and i'm just in love with it look at that <laughs> So this is it, my um, my little jewellery outburst. I'm just looking in the mirror now and I'm like, maybe it's a bit too much bling bling. I think I'll probably do like this. Yeah, that's better. And then maybe get some rose gold rings to put on top or just something more dainty and delicate for here. Because I think the Justin Clue is a little bit too thick. So maybe if I, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be on the hunt for something small and dainty and then I can put this one on and I'll get that in rose gold as well. I really, <laughs> I really love this ring. <laughs> See, just like this, looking at it 
in the mirror from here and just looking at it with the lights that's around this doesn't look like pink gold to me because it's very very it's very dull when I tried on the chain de uncle and rose gold I actually had thought it was gold I didn't realize that it was rose gold I was telling another one of my Hermes fairies I was like this is I, I tried on the gold one I don't understand I literally it was in display and she's like no 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 that was rose gold I was like no it was gold she's like trust me Tiana we don't have any gold in 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 that that ring we never had any in gold it was rose gold I was like no way she's like yes because I didn't realize it was rose gold because it's very very light in color when it comes to the pink tone my favorite part about this is this I love that anything that's dangly on a ring just just gives me butterflies so that's it guys this is my new jewelry collection my new pieces I'm so happy with them. I love them. I'm not a jewelry kind of gal, but slowly but surely we're getting into it. Although now I'm looking at it, I'm like, maybe it's a little bit too overpowering. What do you guys think? Do you think this and this is too much? Unless I take off this, let's see. How does that look now? Does that look better? I'm never gonna take off my engagement ring, let's be real. No, I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, that's all that matters. And when you get all your fine jewelry, you get given gemstone and precious metal certificate. And it's basically, they, they tell you what it is, whether it's got diamonds, the total quantity of diamonds, the weight, and then the registration number, and the date of purchase there, and then the stamp. So you get that as well with each jewelry piece, even the silver. Oh, when I bought it, I was like, is this actually classified as fine jewelry because it's just silver? You know, I wouldn't classify silver as fine jewelry, but hey ho, if they do, I guess I should too. I'm not gonna complain. Sounds bougie when I say, yeah, I just purchased my first fine jewelry piece and it's silver. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, uh, well, at least for me anyway, I never thought silver could ever be fine jewelry. If there was no brand name behind it, it would just be another piece of silver jewelry shoved at the back of the drawer. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week and I should catch you in Saturday's video. Take care. Bye. So, 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 before I returned this bad boy, I thought I would quickly show you this little cutie patootie. How about that? I really, really liked it. But guess what? It doesn't fit at all. <laughs> I ordered it because whenever jewelry comes up that I like, it sells out super fast. And ideally, I would have liked it to fit on this finger. I'm not going to push it on because it's probably going to get stuck. But um, as you guys can see, it would have looked like so but it only fits on this finger and I thought, oh yeah, great. You know, maybe I'll wear it on this finger. But if you look closely, here, this part right in there, is very irritating. It's too big and chunky to be worn on this finger. It'd be much nicer on a finger that like this, even maybe this finger, because it's longer. But you guys can see, look, my joint is right there, the ring is there. It just, yeah, it doesn't feel very comfortable on. So I'm gonna be sending this one back, but this is one of the rings that I got and I ended up going to be needing to return but I just wanted to show you before I returned it so that's why I'm filming it. It's so pretty though. So, so pretty. Oh, oh, such a shame. <laughs>